title of my book is Blush by Natasha Friend and the genre of realistic fiction. It takes place in New York and it doesn't say what time or year, but it's during the late fall. The main character is Sam, who is a 13-year-old 8th grader, and she has a lot of problems in her life, and mostly because her dad is a drunk. Her little brother Luke is a really important character in the story because um, she, j she just loves the way Luke is always happy, and it just makes her wish that she could be as young as him, so she wouldn't be as depressed as she would be. And she has issues with her friends, Tracy, Vanessa, and Angie, because in a lot of times, Sam chooses her crush, uh, Drew, which is kind of really messed up because she, she prefers him over them and a lot of times, and that causes issues between them. And the paragraph I'm about to read is where something really bad is about to happen between Luke, Sam, and her dad. That afternoon, Luke and I had been watching TV because my dad had been working on his, his blueprints for whatever he was working on down in the basement and we had nothing else to do. We were watching Luke's favorite show, The Gurgle, The Gurgles. He had loved that show that the first moment he saw. It. I, would, I would always watch it with him and pretend I was a five-year-old and dance and jump with him like nothing was wrong with the world. I kept peeking down in the basement to see if he wasn't drinking from the bottle he had hiding. I checked on him every 10 minutes just to make sure. After a few minutes, the fourth time I checked, he was finished and came up in the living room. Daddy, he looked yelled as he was the best father, like if it was the best father in the world. Where's your mom? He asked. <coughs> Grocery store, I said, looking at the TV show rather than him. Sam, can I get an orange juice? Luke asked. <coughs> His voice just brought happiness to my mind. He was the only reason I hadn't escaped this prison everyone here called home. He always had something to say, which was so unlike me when I was little. He made me wish I was his age just so I could play jump, spin, and talk nonstop with him. Sure thing, I said. I went down to the kitchen to get him a glass of orange juice. When I returned, he was still spinning as the music on the as the, he was still spinning as the music on the show went on. It made me smile. Here you go, little dude, I said, handing him the glass. My dad opened his, his blueprints to check if everything was going as he had planned for his project at work. Jump with me, Daddy, jump with me. Luke yelled as he jumped, dropped orange juice and dropped orange juice on my parent, on my dad and his blueprints. Then everything went into slow motion. It was as if a type of flashback played through my head at the exact same moment. Click, Luke holding up the cup. Click, a bunch of orange juice flying in the air towards my dad. Click, a furious face on my dad's face. Click, my dad picking up the, the glass. <coughs> Click, glass smashing on Luke's head. Click, blood everywhere. And I recommend this book to people who have issues with their families or anyone who likes drama really because it can it can be relatable whether you have issues with your family or not because she has, says a lot of things that were relatable to me. And you can get this book at Barnes & Noble or any bookstore, and this concludes my presentation.